friends, have you ever stumbled upon the term strength and conditioning and instantly thought it was some hardcore stuff meant only for the likes of Olympians or superheroes? Well, buckle up because we're diving into the nitty gritty of what strength and conditioning really is, its core principles, the go-to exercises, and how it's not just for the elite athletes, but can be a game changer for just about anyone. Yes, even you, the one considering if walking to the fridge counts as cardio. Let's get this straight. Strength and conditioning, or SNC, isn't just about lifting heavy things or running until you're blue in the face. It's a meticulously crafted cocktail of dynamic and static exercises aimed at boosting how well you perform, physically speaking. Initially, the secret sauce for athletes, it's now the open secret for boosting performance in sports and, well, life in general. SNC is like the Swiss Army knife of fitness, targeting every inch of your body to fine tune your movements aiming to elevate your game, whether that's nailing a sport or simply chasing your dog without pulling a muscle. The science is clear. The right training can catapult your physical prowess to new heights, while the wrong moves can do more harm than good. Whether you're a weekend warrior or a professional athlete, our journey through strength and conditioning will cover a buffet of exercises designed to sharpen a wide array of skills. We're talking about enhancing mind, mobility, stability, strength, endurance, power, speed, agility, and overall performance. It's a blend of strength training, aerobic conditioning, speed and agility drills, and even sport-specific training all rolled into one. Everyone's goal? To boost your strength and stamina, dial down the risk and severity of injuries, polish your technique, and enhance your overall performance. And here's the kicker, it's for everyone. From young guns to seasoned citizens, SNC can elevate your health and quality of life to superhero levels. So, are you ready to unleash your inner athlete? Let's get to it and transform the ordinary into extraordinary. Okay, let's dive into the whole strength and conditioning versus just pumping iron debate. You might think they're twins, but in reality, they're more like cousins. Related, but with their own vibes and goals. So you've got strength training on one side, flexing its muscles quite literally, it's all about getting those gains, turning you into a powerhouse of muscle mass and strength. Picture lifting heavy weights and doing push-ups, all in the name of bulking up and toning down. It's like the bread and butter of getting strong, focusing on resistance to make those muscles pop. Now, enter strength and conditioning, the cool cousin with a whole bag of tricks. It's not just about lifting weights, it's an all-star team of exercises aiming to boost your power, speed, agility, endurance, and even flexibility. Think of it as the ultimate fitness multi-tool, helping you sprint faster, leap higher, and keep going longer without waving the white flag. Originally, strength and conditioning was the secret sauce for athletes looking to outperform the competition. But here's the twist, it's not just for the pros. Whether you're a weekend gym warrior, someone trying to keep up with their kids, or a grandparent wanting to stay on point, SNC is your ticket to a fitter, more capable you. So while strength training gets the spotlight for muscle building, Strength and conditioning steals the show by making sure every part of you is ready to tackle whatever life throws your way. It's like comparing a rock-solid bicep to being an all-around fitness ninja. Why settle for just strong when you could be strong, swift, and super flexible? Alrighty, let's jump into the secret sauce behind strength and conditioning without making your head spin. Imagine SNC as a recipe with seven key spices that make it super delicious. These aren't your grandma's secret ingredients but they're what you need to whip up some serious fitness gains. First up, we've got individuality. Everyone's unique, right? Your buddy might be sprinting like a gazelle after a week of training while you're still feeling like a turtle. That's because we all react differently to workouts. Thanks to our age, body type, past scrapes and bruises, and so on. Tailor your training to you and you're golden. Next, enter specificity, the fancy way of saying you get what you train for. If you want to lift heavy, you've got to train with weights. Dreaming about running a marathon? Better hit the pavement. Your body adapts specifically to how you train it, from the muscles you use to the kind of energy it needs to fire up. Now let's talk overload. No, not the kind you feel when choosing a Netflix show. This is about pushing your body harder than it's used to. Crank up the intensity, duration, or frequency of your workouts and watch your body rise to the challenge. Then there's progression and periodization. Basically the fitness version of slow and steady wins the race. Amp up your training bit by bit and give your body time to adapt. Rush it and you're flirting with injuries or burnout. Take it too easy and you'll be stuck in the same spot forever. Diminishing returns or adaptation. It's like leveling up in a video game. 
At first, you're smashing through barriers and feeling unstoppable, but as you get better, the gains aren't as jaw-dropping. It's normal, so don't sweat it. Just keep pushing. Lastly, we've got reversibility. Sadly, fitness isn't a set it and forget it deal. Take too long of a break and those hard-earned gains will start to fade. Think of it as the fitness world's version of use it or lose it. So there you have it, the down and dirty on the principles of strength and conditioning. Keep these in mind and you'll be on your way to becoming a leaner, meaner, fitter version of yourself. Now, let's break down the MVPs of the strength and conditioning world, shall we? Imagine this lineup as the ultimate fitness buffet, where you get to pick and mix exercises to sculpt the masterpiece that is your body. First off, we have the gym equipment all-stars. Picture yourself conquering the leg press, where you're pushing weight like a champ, targeting those quads, hammies, and glutes for legs that could leap tall buildings. Okay, maybe just small puddles, but still impressive. Then there's the epic rope climb. Think of it as your personal Mount Everest, working every muscle you've got and turning your grip into iron. And don't forget about pull-ups, the old school way to build a back so strong you could carry your groceries, your neighbor's groceries, and still have strength for a victory lap. Now, onto the body weight brigade. These are your go-to moves when you want to prove you can handle your own body like a boss. Push-ups? They're not just for show. They work your chest, shoulders, and triceps, making you a powerhouse. Burpees, the exercise everyone loves to hate, are basically a full body party, spiking your heart rate and building endurance faster than you can say, why am I doing this to myself? And then there's the plank, the silent killer of cores, perfecting your posture and giving you abs of steel. Mixing these exercises into your routine is like having the perfect playlist for a road trip. It keeps things exciting, effective, and ensures you're ready for any fitness challenge that comes your way. Whether you're a gym newbie or a seasoned pro, these exercises are your ticket to a stronger, more conditioned version of yourself. All right, team, let's break down the blockbuster benefits of strength and conditioning and why it's basically the best thing since sliced bread for your body and mind. First off, this magic workout potion does wonders for your muscles, making them stronger, more enduring, and beefier in size. Think of it as upgrading your body's engine to a V8, ready to power through anything life throws at you. But wait, there's more. Your brain gets a hefty slice of the action too. Engaging in strength and conditioning is like sending your mental health on a spa retreat, boosting those feel-good hormones and showing stress the exit door. Ever wondered how some people seem to have an internal GPS for their muscles? That's neural recruitment for you, and yep, strength and conditioning cranks that up, making your muscles and brain work together like a well-oiled machine. And let's not forget about the unsung heroes, your connective tissues and bones. These workouts are like calcium-rich milk for your skeleton, making everything from your tendons to your tibia tougher and more resilient. Now, for the cherry on top. All these physical perks come with a side order of killer motor skills and confidence. It's like leveling up in a video game where suddenly you're more agile, flexible, and ready to win with the next long jump competition. The best part, these benefits aren't exclusive to the fitness elite. They're up for grabs for the entire population. Under the watchful eye of a pro, Anyone can tap into this fountain of youth, warding off everything from muffin tops to major health no-nos like heart disease, diabetes, and even certain cancers. By reducing injury risks and elevating your mental health, strength and conditioning isn't just about building a body that looks good, though let's be honest, that's a pretty nice perk. It's all about crafting a body that feels good, moves well, and stands strong against whatever life throws at it. So whether you're looking to slim down your belly, boost your heart health, or simply strut with a bit more swagger, strength and conditioning is your golden ticket to a healthier, happier you. All right, squad, we've just taken a whirlwind tour through the universe of strength and conditioning, packing in all the must-knows. You're probably itching to hit the ground running or lifting, but hold up, how often should you actually dive into this workout wonderland? When it comes to conditioning those muscles and boosting your cardio, it's all about not biting off more than you can chew. Your body's like, hey, I need a hot sec to bounce back from all that awesomeness. Most fitness gurus, including the wise folks at the American Council on Exercise, suggest keeping your conditioning workouts to a chill two to three times a week. It's the golden rule to avoid turning yourself into a human pretzel from overdoing it. The trick is finding that sweet spot, like the perfect amount of creamer in your coffee, that keeps you in the game and racking up those gains without crashing and burning. Safety first, because nobody's signing up for the sideline life. If this little chat sparked a fire in you and you're all about that fit life, smash that like button and hit subscribe. Join us on this journey to keep flexing with wisdom and shining brighter than a diamond in a goat's mouth.
Let's get those gains, and remember, it's not just about looking good, it's about feeling unstoppable. Keep on flexing and glowing.